we're here at this new site and one of the things about construction work and how it's booming you know it covers up good gold mining places like look hopefully you see this but there's a little stream that runs right through there and there's a little feeder creek right up there now I know that that feeder creek has gold in it I know because I've dug farther up so the question is is the gold coming down that far and here I am at work and I want to know and plus you see it comes right right about there that feeder creek comes out right about there so if there's gonna be gold there's gonna be a good pocket of gold right there and it's right by the it's right by the job site it's right where we're working and I don't have my equipment. I don't have my equipment. <laughs> We're down here at this stream, and this is what I'm looking at. <laughs> All this bedrock right here, like holy cow, this is that feeder stream. This is a good spot, y'all. Holy cow. So now the question is, is there a gold here? And if so, how much? Well, I find a few flakes. Well, I find pickers. <clears throat> is this the creek I'm thinking of? But this is the name of the game. Prospect, look at that right there. Got good water flow. I think I'm going to dig. There's a good pocket. There, let's go to get that panned out. Let's see what we got. So I'm already super excited because I saw a flake of gold on my shovel. It's, it was sticking to the shovel. So there's, there's gold in here. <laughs> there's gold. I believe it. We're going to pan it out. Let's see what we get. All right, so a couple of small micro specs that you're not going to see no matter how hard I try. Camera's not going to focus. So we're going to focus... We're going to dig right there next. We dug right here. We're going to work our way out to there. But we're going to dig right here because right here is like first riffle of a sluice. Right there. We got it. So if there's big stuff in here, it's going to be right there. This, this is all decomposing bedrock. This is all decomposing bedrock. Take a look at this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good stuff. So here's a pile of stuff. Last pan yielded a little flake, one little piece of fly poop, and some lead. We're going to do a final cleanup at the end of the video in my black pan so I can show you. But uh, look at this. This is all decomposed bedrock right here in this crack. That is a riffle. This is a sluice riffle right here, right there, 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 there. And up there is just a gravel pit. So there is like, if there is gold down here, there is gold up there. But right here, this area right here, is textbook for finding gold. I mean, you, <laughs> if you got gold, you are going to find it right here. And this is prospecting a new area, new creek. You know, so, hey, we got gold. My gold fever is like, ha. Ah. So, well, we got plenty of stuff to dig right through here, so as long as I'm working on this job, we're going to dig right through here. Looky, looky. So that's the stuff underneath all that uh, broken up bedrock. All that bedrock, that shattered, here's the dirt below it. There's our pay stuff. And it's been collecting and collecting and collecting for who knows how long. So, this stream... I found out yesterday talking to the homeowners is protected it is a protected stream uh, that's open to the public for use so it's a development place all this is open to development except for the stream the stream within a hundred feet will never be developed and I got permission and they're like go for it see what you can do so, yeah. <laughs> so there's our little crack we're gonna bring our little sucker tube and we're gonna suck that dry put in there there's our last pan for the night for the day because lunch break is just about over so gotta get back to work so uh let's see if we can get this last panel video pull all this
this stuff off. Give it all a good wash. There's a little flake of gold right there. We want that all in the pan. Oh, finally, at the end of the day, we get to let our feet out. Oh. All right. Don't know if you can see that or not, but we've got five or six decent little, actually, we got about seven or eight very, very tiny little specks in there. Hopefully it focuses enough and you can see it, but that's like out of all of this. And there's probably still a bunch I missed, but there is like microscopic stuff all over this. And there's one nice flake right there. So this spot has potential. This spot has a lot of potential. So I'm going to take my new homemade sluice. I'm going to take this and we're going to give it a good test and see if it can capture this stuff. So, uh, if you stuck with us this far, hey, thank you for being a part of our family. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for just being a part. Like, wow. So, uh, stay tuned. We're going back. And we're going to hit it hard on a lunch break. <sighs> it snowed. Ha, 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 ha. Our little homemade shutter sluice. So, to Mr. Robertson of Robertson's Prospecting, challenge met it is a fully functional sluice <laughs> sorry it took so long like everything it takes a while but there it is nice nice i actually i actually like this it's quick it's easy to clean up great great prospecting sluice that's for seeing what's in the area you know you're not going to catch everything with it but you're going to see what's in the area and that's what matters most I'm going right now behind this riffle right here. I'm digging behind it. In front of it, there's a whole pile of lead shot and stuff. So today my focus is primarily going to be right there. So we're going to see just how much bird shot and stuff we get there. You know, there's black sand all over the place here. Like, up here, see that? Black sand there. I mean, like, it's just, there's, there's black sand everywhere. So. But we're going to focus right here. Because I'm betting all this stuff washes over and wherever it picks itself up because right there there's a curling picks itself up right here drops light stuff drops heavy stuff off back there light stuff whatever moves forward I bet you get stuck right here hits or goes around or comes up over so we're testing this hypothesis right now if I'm wrong I'm wrong and I've wasted but a lunch day but a lunch break not a whole day so Let's see if I'm right. We're in some good stuff now. There's that blue clay. There's that blue kitty litter layer. So we're hunting it down. Look at that clear quartz in there. See? See the level? So whoosh. look at that. Beautiful stuff. So we finally hit that layer. So we're going to keep digging right here. There's our little sluice. Yeah. That blue clay again. Every scoop. Look at that. Yeah, I know it's washing some of it out, but you know something? I don't care. Uh, this is just a sample area. It's not like we're going to come in here and mine the area. This is my lunch break. If I find a couple of flakes, I'm happy. Yeah, this is the stuff. Look at that. Yep. 
Got some blue in there, some nice blue quartz. Yeah, so right here's the decomposing bedrock. It's not clay, even though I've been calling it clay. It's just, you know, very soft, going bad rock with a lot of quartz and stuff in there. So, pretty cool stuff. And we're in it, full of it. And my lunch break is almost over. So, uh, I'm going to keep working at it until my foreman hollers at me. And, well, you know, check back in a bit. There it is. Some more little bitty stuff. There's a few more. But yeah, but right there. Focus. There's three or four good little sized dots. Right there. Uh, that's our prize and joy right there. That's the biggest one of the day. Right about the shot too. The shot got larger.